Hey everyone, Leanne here, and I'm going to give you a full tour of Booked-in online appointment scheduling. Booked-in helps businesses save time by automating appointment scheduling tasks, and it also helps your clients to book everyday appointments online in just a few clicks. Let's dive in. First things first, here is the public view of Booked-in. This is what your clients will see when they go to book an appointment online. You'll notice I've got two screens running here up up here, this is my mobile phone, just to show you what clients will see on their mobile phone. And then over here, we've got what it looks like on desktop or tablets. Now note, these online booking pages can be customized. So color, the logos, text, this all can be configured in your business account settings. I'll show you how to do that later. So now let's book an appointment. Your clients will visit this web page find an available date, click on their time slot, and then fill in the booking form. Your client will fill in their name, email, phone number, comments, any other booking fields you've added here. Then the client can click book it, and that's it. Boom, they've now booked for their appointment, and they'll receive a confirmation and a reminder automatically by email and text message. You'll notice here there was no password or download required for the clients, making it extremely fast and easy for them to book appointments with your business. Okay, let's book one more appointment quickly here on mobile. This time I'll show you how the deposit payments work. So up here on mobile, let's book a four hour session. Here you'll see this service requires $100 deposit payment. This means your clients must pay the $100 in order to confirm their appointment. The client will be taken to the PayPal screen where they can enter their credit card information or pay with their PayPal account. All right, now that you've seen what it looks like for clients on the public side, let's jump into the private business view. So here I'm gonna show you what Booked In looks like for the business owner and staff. So for these folks, Booked In is accessed by logging into the desktop site, the Android app, or the iPhone app. Now we're logged in. Only the staff can see this view, not the clients. So once you're logged in, the first thing you'll notice is the calendar. This is where all of your appointments will show up. You can book appointments here too by simply clicking anywhere on the calendar. You can fill in the booking form, type in the client's info, and click book it. The system sends your client a confirmation and later a reminder. Here you can also click on existing appointments to view, change, or add more information. Here on the calendar, you can also set your available hours. Now this controls when appointments can be booked. To do this, go to the Business Hours button, Change Weekly Business Hours, then adjust your availability. For example, Mondays and Tuesdays are off, Wednesday through Sunday are open 9 to 5. On the mobile app, weekly hours can be adjusted using the same method click hours, change weekly business hours, then adjust your time slots. Another way to change your availability is one day at a time. For example, booking off a holiday or just opening and closing off hours on one particular day. To do this, click business hours, change hours by day, then click anywhere on the calendar to open or close individual days or time slots. On the mobile app, this works the same. Click on hours, change hours by day. Here you'll see toggle switches you can turn on and off for each day. You can turn it off to mark the day off or use these toggle switches to open or close your availability. Now let's check out the clients list. This is where all of your client info gets saved and tracked. 
Here you'll see a list of client names, emails, phone numbers. You can click to view the custom notes you've added about each client. Here you can see their booking history, online payment history. If you're just getting started with Booked in here, you can import your own client list. Just use this button up here to import. Now that we've covered all the basics, let's dive into some of the more detailed settings. First up, services. Here's where you can add, edit, delete the services you offer to your clients. Here you can also control the ordering of the services. You can edit the description, the service name, category, duration, price, and the payment options here. Under payment options, this first checkbox here is what controls that deposit payment I showed you earlier. This is a very popular feature because when your clients book online, they're forced to pay that and the money gets sent to you instantly. Check out our other setup video for how that works. Next up under settings is calendars. Here you can have just one calendar for yourself or you can add multiple calendars. For your team. These are your service providers, so for example, barbers, tattoo artists, hairstylists, etc. Each calendar settings includes the person's email address for new booking notifications. The Make Public checkbox controls whether or not they show up on your public online booking page, that page we went over here earlier. Booking interval. This controls the time slots shown on that public online booking page. You can also edit this person's hours here and adjust the services provided. Now let's check out staff logins. This is where you can invite your staff to log in to your private BookedIn account. Remember, only you and your staff can log in to BookedIn, not your clients. Click the Add New button, and then just type in your staff's name, email address here, and adjust how much access you'd like to give them using the checkboxes. When you click Save, the system will send them an email with instructions how to log in, and they'll be able to use both the booked in web and mobile apps. Here you can also delete staff logins. If you delete someone, they'll immediately lose access to the booked in scheduler. Next up is email and text reminders. With booked in, your client reminders are already being sent out automatically, but if you want to get fancy, you can modify the settings here. So for text messages, you can change the days they're sent, or you can turn them off completely. For email reminders, you can change the day they're sent. You can turn them off completely, or you can add a BCC option. This lets you monitor all of the client emails being sent out by the system. Here is where you can also add, remove, or edit your cancellation policy. So this controls if and when your clients will be allowed to cancel their appointments. Then finally, here you can personalize the client emails. Use the text editor down here and add a friendly message, instructions, links, downloadable documents, anything you like. Your message can be added to either all the client emails or you can add a unique message just for a specific service. Another helpful feature under the settings menu is Calendar Sync. This lets you sync your personal calendar appointments with your booked in calendar. If you go to the calendar here, for example, you'll see I have a dentist appointment Saturday the 24th. This is being pulled from my Google Calendar. So by syncing your personal calendar, you'll be able to easily keep your availability up to date and manage your busy week. Note that your clients can't see these synced appointments. They'll only be able to tell that you're unavailable during those times. To learn how to set this up, just hit this 
learn how button here and follow the other help video. Now let's check out the customize page. This is where you can adjust things such as turning on double booking settings for your staff or adding custom form fields to your appointments. This is great for collecting information about the client, specific info for their appointment date, etc. This is also where you can add your profile photo, customize the color that is shown on your online booking page. Next up is integrations. These are for your website and social media. So here you'll find some great tools to promote online booking to your clients. We've got instructions on adding online booking to Facebook, Instagram, and your website using these get code buttons. If you need help setting these up, we've got other great tutorials on our help site as well. Just hit the help menu. Finally, here's the business info settings page. This is simply where you can modify your business info that appears to your clients, your business name, contact info, address, website link, and your currency for online payment processing. All the basics. That's it. Woohoo! You made it to the end of the tour. Thanks so much for watching. And if you have any questions at all, please hit up our help menu in your account and check out our other guides. Or you can send us an email anytime. We'd love to hear from you.